simplistic as just making shots sometimes? Yeah, and if you look tonight, I mean, we, we made some threes. We still didn't shoot a great percentage. We shot 41% for the game, you know, so. Um, and the, the biggest thing, if you look at the offense tonight, was we only had six turnovers. I thought that was the biggest. And we made threes. That was the two things. We made our threes, and uh, we only had six turnovers. So I, I thought that was the biggest thing. And I thought, well, second biggest thing. The biggest thing is, is we played with tremendous focus and intensity. Um, really from the start to the finish, and, uh, and that's what it's going to take. I mean, you know, it, it'll be much, much, much harder on Thursday, and we'll need to play better than we did tonight to get a win there. Uh, like I said, from the time we lost game one, um, six and a half weeks ago or whenever that was, um, we knew we had to win a game in Atlanta. So we didn't get it done the first two times. We're going to have to get it done on Thursday. How, how big was JJ's run there with White? To, to yeah, I, I thought JJ and uh, Jay Rich both. I mean, both of our two guards had uh, had really, really good nights, and um, you know that was really the, the big part of our offense tonight. So, so it was good to see them get going. Um, you know, I, I, I thought it was just a uh, you know it was a good night, but and I think our guys have the right mindset right now. Um, I don't think there'll be any celebrating tonight. I don't even think they'll celebrate for five or ten minutes. I mean, it's like being in a game. We're behind. I mean, you know, we, we did what we had to do tonight, but, um, you know, all we did was cut the lead, basically. That's, you know, it's like you make a run in a game and cut the lead from uh, from 20 to 12 or something. Now, that's, that's about like what we did tonight. So, um, what we did do, though, we know what we're capable of, and um, we're going to have to bring that same thing, but... You know, that's all we've done is cut the lead. A couple of nights ago, you made the remark that Dwight can't even get out of the game to get a glass of water. Uh, tonight, it was just the opposite. Yeah, you guys we made a good over. run when he was out, and, you know, he didn't have to play very long tonight, and, uh, you know, we did a pretty good job. So uh, so that was good to see. And uh, we held our old on, own on the boards with him only getting eight because he only played 29 minutes. And uh, we were still able to hold our own on the board, so that was a uh, that was a good thing. Then you've never been a big believer in momentum from one game to the next. But can, can shooting rhythm kind of carry over? Well, you get a little confidence, maybe. But you know, as far as uh, momentum, I mean, they'll feel a lot more comfortable going home, and uh, and we know that. And uh, you know, we're going to have to be ready to play a uh, another great game. I mean, look, we got to play. If you get down three one in a series, and you guys are the ones who tell me the numbers. I mean, basically, a little less than 5% of the teams who've been in this situation end up getting the job done. It's not an easy thing. And we have to play very well virtually every possession um, for the next two games as well as tonight. And we've got to play, we play great. There can't be uh, any let up. Stan, is there any logical way to explain a team that struggled so much recently looked so good, especially from, from the outside and, and hitting so Well, we're shots. a good shooting team. I think this is more us than what we did for four games. I mean, uh, they've done a pretty good job defending the three-point line, but I've been saying, I mean, uh, we, you know, especially last game, we, we liked the looks we got in game four, you know, in Atlanta. So, I mean, I'm giving them credit. They've done a good job, but we get some looks in every game, and we got to knock them down when we get them. And, uh, you know, we, we haven't been doing that. Tonight we did it. It's like this is more us, so I don't think this is like some aberration. Oh my God, the Magic made threes. I mean, you know, we've been doing this for four years. Um, the aberration has been the first four games. Stan, what did you do to be different defensively against uh, Joe Johnson and Jamal Crawford? No, uh, we played harder. Didn't you send no more help toward Crawford? It looked like Dwight was out there even sometimes. Well, we, so. um, you know, we tried to get our help a little earlier to him, yeah. We did, um, but, you know, and, and he, look, I, I thought we tried to get help earlier to him. I thought our guys tried to get into him more and all that. And the bottom line is he's been making a lot of tough shots in this series. And the ones he missed tonight, he's been making the rest of the series. So, like I said tonight before the game, I mean, we wanted to get into him a little bit more. We wanted to get our help to him a little bit early. And then the third part of our strategy is we hoped he would miss some. You know, I mean, sometimes it comes down to that. A guy's shooting pull-ups, you hope they don't go in. Is that a 
hold true for just trying to get the ball out of Joe Johnson's hand? A little bit. I mean, we've been trying to do that the whole series, but that's easier said than done. And, and plus, Joe Johnson's one of the uh, one of the great passers in this league. He's because of his size and guard, he has seen so many double teams coming from every direction. You you can't you can't you know make him lose his composure. You can't bother him at all. Um, all you can do is hope he doesn't get a shot, and you can cover out of the rotation because. He's a uh, he's a great great passer. The double teams really don't bother him.